Uh, <laughs> How's it going, people? Welcome back to another video. This is, I think this is week number seven, to be honest with you. This video is going to be a little bit different to the rest of them because there's going to be no physique checking at the end because there's no point and you'll find out why as we get more into this video. Uh, it's probably going to be really rapid as well because we only went to the gym twice this week. <laughs> Honestly, this week, as far as I'm concerned, right, this week in terms of gym and working out has been a write-off, mate. Like, yesterday I was like, I don't even want to film this, you know. I don't even want to film this bit and I don't even want to edit it and upload it. But if I get in the mindset of only uploading the good bits and only showing the good bits, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? It's all fake, innit? If you only show the good parts, what's the point? Because all of this that's happening, even the bad parts, they're part of the journey, aren't they? The bad parts are all part of the process. So this is why I'm filming it. It's probably going to be a bit shorter than normal because we don't have much footage to review. But that's that's where we're at this week. Okay? That, that's where we're at this week. It has been just... Mm -mm. So let's... Let's crack on with it, shall we? So, a couple of good things, right, that I've thought about moving forward. <laughs> Even though we only went to the gym twice this week, I was thinking about certain things of this journey. And a couple of things that I really want to get fine-tuned is my sleep and my diet properly. Like, I'd say it's 80% of the way there. It can improve a lot more and... You know, me and my sister have discussed a few things that we can do in order to improve it. So, we're going to be doing that. And hopefully we will be at 100%. Uh, I can't think of the word because I'm tired. <laughs> it will be refined to its ultimate stage, if you will. Because at the moment it's not. So, regardless of whether we went to the gym twice... The, some of the good things from this week are, I'm like, I want to improve my diet properly and my food plan, and I want to improve my sleep, because as it stands, <laughs> I get about four to four and a half hours sleep, which is pants, right? Because I go to bed about half ten, can't fall asleep till about eleven, half eleven, I'm up at four, quarter past four for the gym, and then I go and do a full, a full day at work or at uni, and my sleep is just, it's just wrecked. You know, to the point where this morning, which is Saturday morning, I slept in, if you will. I, I ended up falling asleep about 11 last night, and I woke up at 8 this morning, and I woke up with a headache because I'd had too much sleep, even though I'd had nine hours, you know. My body was like, this is too much, I can't cope. <laughs> so I've got a headache because I slept too long. So I want to sort my sleep out, and I want to sort my food out. So I'm just making a, a video note, a mental note of, this week, the good points were food and sleep needs sorting out. So let's get into the, the working out of what we actually did this week. So on Monday, on Monday I managed 28 kilograms. I think I've got footage. I will have to check. Because <laughs> I only filmed one day out of the two days. This is, this is what I mean. There's like nothing to look at this week. I managed 28 kilograms for seven reps, or I put seven and a half reps if we're going by Sam Sulek standards. If you know who Sam Sulek is, you'll know what I mean by that. I managed good form on lat raises, and something I realized that I wasn't doing on triceps was squeezing the muscle at the bottom of the rep. So I was just like, you know, and something I realized on Monday was, was is was. Something I realised on Monday is I wasn't squeezing at the bottom of the rep. So that's what I've started to do. And it made a massive difference. And that was that was Monday. <laughs> that was Monday. So if there's footage, you'll find out in a minute and we'll take a look at it. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. So yeah, I've only got footage of Monday. Like, there's only footage of Monday there. <laughs> um, let's have a look and see. Right, let's have a look at... Right, this is the 28 kilogram bench press. Let's have a look at this. These were really heavy on Monday. But I was determined to go for it. And I'm even more determined to go for 30 now that I've done over five reps of 28. I'm 
I'm trying to improve my form on dumbbell chest press because I don't know if you could tell. I'd have to watch the footage back on the other weeks, but my elbows were like splayed out too much. So I'm trying to tuck my elbows in on this one. <laughs> the left one just gave up then. So I had it with my right one, but my left one just it didn't want to do it. That was 28 kg on thingy. That thing that it's called. Chest press. Um, yeah. I also recorded a full set of 24 because I wasn't going to, but then my sister was like, but why don't you record it anyway just to see good form? Do you know what I mean? Why don't you record a good set with a good form so you can actually view it compared to the, uh, your 28kg? I was like, all right, fair enough. Good shout. So this is 24. And I did this before the 28. I've just shown them in the different order. So I didn't warm up with 28. <laughs> I warmed up with my usual, then went 24, then went 28, you know? So this is my dumbbell bench press with 24s these felt really good doing this like I can tell that I'm getting stronger because these just they felt really really good to move you know and I felt like I had good form like I really feel solidly happy with this form I can't sit here and nitpick it do you know what I mean like I'm, I'm genuinely quite happy with this there's obviously some aspects to it that I'd like to change, but I was genuinely quite happy with that form on 24. So that was 24 kilograms. And then what have we got? I did some lat raises. So I did a set of 10s and I did a set of 12s. Then recorded both sets because at the moment I wanted to see if I can still do 12s with good form, you know. Since we've adjusted it, we adjusted form last week, didn't we? And I wanted to see if I could still do 12 with the adjusted form. So this is the this is the 10s first. It's an okay form. Do you know, I've, I've found some guy on Instagram. On YouTube. And if I remember rightly, one of the videos I watched, he did something daft like 30 kilos for lat raises. And I was like, bro, 30 kilos? What? What on earth? I can't imagine lifting 30 kilos for lat raises, man. So that was 10 kilograms. And this is 12. I'd say the farm was okay. But not quite as good as it is with 10s. It's alright. There's still an element of throwing them back. Like, I don't think I did a full set there. Um, so they are improving, but I won't say that I can comfortably do 12 for a full set. I'd say we're back down to 10s at the moment, doing good form, proper form. But we can do 12, if that made sense. Because in my head, that didn't make, it made sense, but didn't. Anyway, that was Monday. <laughs> I'm struggling, <laughs> struggling this morning. <laughs> Tuesday, right? I've wrote, technically we went to the gym, but we didn't go inside because I felt really sick on Tuesday. Like I woke up and I was like, you know, if someone bumps into me wrong, game over, mate. You know what I mean? I don't know what it was, but something just didn't sit right. And we drove to the gym and sat in the car park. Like I parked up, sat in the car park, and, you know, my sister's like, you just let me know what you want to do. And I'm like, genuinely feel like if I went inside and did a workout, I wouldn't get a good workout done. And maybe even halfway through, I might have to go upstairs and chuck up, you know. So we drove home. So technically I went to the gym on Tuesday, but then we didn't go inside because I didn't feel well. And then Wednesday, didn't film on Wednesday, but I went lighter on seated row. Because I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a drop set. Just because I don't feel comfortable doing heavy weights. And this is the day that I didn't film anything. So you're just going to have to take my word for it on this one. I went lighter on seated row and it felt alright to do that. It felt really good. 
because I wanted good form. Uh, didn't film anything because we got there later than usual and I didn't want to lose focus on getting the workout done. So I just literally focused on getting the workout done. Did biceps on cables again. Felt good. Uh, wanted to do easy bar but I didn't have time. I've also noticed that I'm getting an uneven pump on biceps. Left arm needs a bit more work, that's what I put down. So I've noticed that my left arm, my left bicep is smaller than my right one. So I don't get, and I can feel it when I do it, do you know what I mean? I can feel it when I do the workout, the, the, the focus for some reason is going more to the right side than it is to the left. And I don't know if that's because I'm maybe pulling up because I use the... Um, I use the rope on cable and I don't so I don't know if that's because like there's a slight unevenness in my hands like that and it's the right one's pulling up more than the left and I'm getting an uneven rep or if it's just because my form is slightly wrong I really don't know but either way I noticed on Wednesday that me not good so I need to figure out a way I've been doing some research watching a lot of YouTube about how to combat uneven pump, you know, because everyone has it, everyone has a side that's stronger than the other. Some people it's the left, some people it's the right. I think for me it's the right hand side. So I need to combat that and get the balance because the last thing I want is to, you know, finally reach my goal of being strong and looking how I want to look. And then, you know, we do a flex and this biceps like nice. And this one's just like, <laughs> you know, so we'll be doing some research on that, on how to implement that kind of technique into my workout so that I can actually get a balanced muscle growth. So that was Wednesday. Like I say, nothing to review because I didn't film it. Thursday was rest day. And Friday, right, you know, we discussed, didn't we, that I've upped my working out days to four days a week we're going to do push pull legs and then target practice on fridays fridays i look forward to fridays because i'm like this is my day to just basically like relax in the gym you know i can do what i want in the gym i can just go you know what this morning i'm going to focus on this blah 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 so i got well excited for friday because throughout the week i was like i want to try these you know i've been looking at exercises to target my traps more so deadlifting is one of them and an exercise, I think it's called face pulls. So you put the rope attachment on the cable machine, you know, and it's like face pulls. So on Friday I was like, ah, oh, I get well excited. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. <sighs> Woke up late on Friday to the point where even if I could get ready in less than five minutes and drive to the gym, I wouldn't have time to do a full workout before I had to come home and get ready for work. So I was like, hmm. I was proper mad on Friday. <laughs> I literally just lay in bed. Like I got back in bed and I was like, do I go now? Do I just, do I go, do I not, do I go, do I not? And I was like, I can't go because I've got no time. Then I went back to sleep and then got up at like half six for work. So I was like, on Friday I wasn't happy. Yesterday, I wasn't happy. That's the workout week. <laughs> you see what I mean by this week is terrible. This week is shocking like it's probably the worst week i've had at the gym so far the worst week on this workout journey so far is this week two days in the gym out of a potential four and only recording one one day for reviewing purposes because you know i know i'll put these up on youtube but you know my youtube channel is my virtual diary so this is for me, most of it. You know, if you watch it and you get benefit from it, sweet. You know, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz. But this is for me mainly to look on this every week and go, I'm really impressed with this week or I'm really disappointed with this week. In which case this week, I'm like, I'm really disappointed this week. So that was that, that's this week. So like I said, there's gonna be no there's going to be no form check, uh, no uh, physique check at the end of this video because, you know, nothing has changed from two days of working out. Um, 
like I say, the positives to take from this are this week that I realised that two areas that I need to sort out are sleep and more refining of food and more refining of meals, etc, etc. And more tracking because that's one thing I struggle with, tracking food and remembering to track food, you know. Mentally, I'm like, this is how much I'm eating because I know the calories because I've tracked them previously. But I don't actually end up remembering to put them in my phone. So that's another area of improvement that I want to work on. So that's the video. <laughs> that's it. That's it for this week. All already, I want to do better next week. Next week, I want a solid four days of working out and I want a solid four days of footage to look at. And I want to get to the end of next week knowing full well that we can basically cancel this week out because next week is going to be so much better, you know? because I want to make progress now. I know I'm making progress, but I want to make more. You know, I want to make more progress. And I want to just crack on with it. So, I'm going to be making more content to do with, um, like, lifestyle stuff. And, you know, just more like behind the scenes stuff rather than, you know, getting to this video and, and telling you what's going on and stuff. So if you want to be involved in all of that, then all the links will be in the description box below. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok if you want. I'm going to start using all the platforms more. And that's it. <laughs> I've got a ton of content coming. I also have, I'm going to mention briefly, um, I'm going to make a full video on this, but I also have made a second channel for various things and I'm slowly but surely building up content ideas for that as well so I'm not telling you what it's called yet because it's not ready for release but just know that I'm working on a load of projects behind the scenes so if you want to stay up to date with all of that links in the bio baby <laughs> apart from that if you enjoyed this video I don't know how you could because I didn't enjoy it feel free to like it and subscribe it and I will see you when I see you Catch you later.